and um, welcome back to Into Tutors. So, like I said, if you've not hit the subscribe button, please do so that you can get updates from us whenever we release our videos. So, just hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get alerts when these videos are out. Okay, so um, the question says, What is the value of um, alpha in the figure below? Now, we'll draw the diagram. Okay, so um, we we'll have here to be 130 degree and we we'll have here to be x. Here is um, 80 degree and here is um, alpha. Okay, so now if you look at this place, this is angle on a straight line. And you know that angle on a straight line is equal to um, 180. So x plus 130 is equal to 180. So this will be x will now be 180 minus 130, which is equal to 50 degree. So our x, first of all, is 50 degree. Now, the sum angles of a triangle, sum angles of some angles of a triangle is 180 so when you sum up the total angle that's 80 plus alpha plus x is actually 50 is equal to um, 180 so 80 plus 150 gives us um, 130 130 plus alpha is equal to 180 therefore alpha will be 180 minus 130 therefore our al um, 130 and our alpha it's going to be that's um, 50 degree so the correct answer here it's a uh, 50 degree now what does that tell you that tells you that this is um, an isosceles triangle the two bays are equal so this is 50 degree this is um, 50 degree so that means this side is equal to this side so this is um, 80 okay so um, question 52 says on the bearing of B from A is 30 degree. We've solved a whole lot of bearing questions in this, so I believe you should be able to attempt this even without um, checking the solution. So I'm going to employ you to try that yourself, but meanwhile, um, you can pause the video and try that, but we will go ahead and solve it. So it says the bearing from B from A, so this is from A. So remember, you always draw from A and you always start from your north pole and you draw 30 degree. So this is 30 degree. So this is our B. You draw your cardinal points this is your point b so now we want to get what is the bearing of a this is point a from b so we want to calculate from b now remember here is what 30 degree and your alternate angles that means this place is going to be what 30 degrees so we we'll add up these two place um this is 180 because here is 90 this place is 90 so it's going to be 90 plus 90 so we want to calculate this angle so 90 plus 90 plus 30 that will give us 180 plus 30 and that's 210 degrees so that's our final answer so final answer D is the correct answer so um, moving over to question um, 53 it says the sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon is 1440 find the number of sides now you know the formula it's 2n minus 4 or multiplied by 90 is equal to um, the interior angle or you can decide to say n minus 2 bracket 180 is equal to interior angle whichever one is comfortable for you so we're going to apply our formula so n minus 2 times 180 so this is going to be um, n minus 2 all into 180 is equal to uh, 1440 okay so um, at this point we are going to open the bracket so this is 180 n minus 360 it's equal to 1440 so collecting like terms is going to be 180 n is equal to 1440 plus 360 so summing up 1440 plus 360 is going to give us 0, 4, 6 plus 4 is 0, 10, carry 1, 4, 3, 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 1, 8, then 1. So we're going to have 180 N is equal to 1,800. Therefore, our N will be 1,800 divided by 180. Okay? So um, 0 will cancel 0. 18 here is 1. 18 into 180 is going to give us um, 10. So our sides will be 10. So the correct answer it's B okay so the next question is um, question um, 54 it says the sum angle of an equilateral triangle at 
2a degree, 3b degree, and 4c degree. Okay? So find the value of a degree plus b degree plus c degree. Now, first of all, what is an equilateral triangle? An equilateral triangle, the types of triangle we have, we have an equilateral triangle, we have a scaling, and we have a minus isosceles. Now, an equilateral triangle, the three sides are equal, and the three angles are equal. So, but here, we, they say the angles are 2a degree. We have, um, here will be 3b degree, and here will be um, 4c degree. Now, what this means is 2a degree is equal to 3b degree is equal to 4c degree. So, that's the meaning. Because our three angles are what? Equal. The three angles are what? Equal. So, in order to solve this question, what we now have to do is we we'll call the total angles x because they are all equal. So, this is an equilateral triangle. Let's redraw our triangle. This time, we don't want to represent it. We want to call them x, x because we know they are all equal. So, from here, we can say x plus x plus x is going to give us what? 180 degree. So, that's 3x is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, x is going to be 180 divided by 3, which is 60 degree. Now, know that the, an equilateral triangle always has one of its angles to be 60 degree because they are all equal. Because the three angles must be summed up to get 180 degree. So, this means from here, 2a is equal to 60 degree. Therefore, a will be 60 over 2 to give us 3. That's the first one. 3b is equal to 60 degree. B will be 60 over 3 to give us um, to give us um, 2. Then 4C is equal to 60 degree. Therefore, C will be 60 over 4 to give us um, that's um, sorry, this is going to be 60 over 2, that's 30. Um, this will be 60 over 3, that's 20. Then this will be 60 over 4, that will give us um, 15. Therefore, to do our A plus B plus C will be 30 plus 20 plus 15. And that will give us, um, this is 50 plus 15. That will give us um, 65 degree. So our final answer is 65 degree. So that is the correct answer. Now, that will take us to question um, 55. It says if the scale drawing of a car packed is... The scale drawing of a car packed is drawn to a scale of 1 cm representing 7 meters and the car packing is 133 meters by 98 meters. Find the length of the drawing. Now, by knowing that the length is the longer part, you know that the length is what? 133 meters. So we want to represent the length in the scale. And it says 1 cm, um, it says um, 7 meters, okay? It says 7 meters represents 1 cm. So we want to know what 1 um, 33 meters will be, which is going to be equivalent to 133 meters times 1 cm divided by 7 meters. So the meter cancel out the meters, so we have 133 divided by 7. If you do your longer division, 133 into 7. 7 into 13 is um, 1. 7 times 1 is um, 7. We we'll have um, 6 and 3 remaining. 7 into 63 is um, 9. 7 times 9 is um, 63, and that would be 0. So our final answer would be 19 cm. Okay, so the correct answer is B. Okay, moving over to question 56. Our question 56 is the angle between the length of a rectangle and this diagonal is 60. Now, for you to solve this question comfortably, you need to depict it in a diagram. So we draw our rectangle. That's the first thing we do. The angle between the length, okay, this is the length. This is our length and um, the diagonal. This is our diagonal. So that means the angle between the length and the diagonal is 60 degree. Now remember, this is your 90 degree. Okay. If the diagonal is 10 cm, 10 cm. So if we are to bring out this diagram, it says find the length of the triangle. So this is what our diagram is going to look like finally. So we are looking for here, L. So this is a 60 degree, and um, yes, 10 cm, and this is our right angle triangle. Okay, now looking at this, we have an angle, we have the hypotenuse, and um, we're looking for, let L be equal to X. 
the length, which is equal to x, we have our adjacent. So we need to employ our so ka tua. So ka tua. Okay, so I think we're going to be using our cosine because it has to do with the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So we're going to say um, cos 60 is equal to x, which is our adjacent, over our hypotenuse, which is um, 10. So therefore, x is going to be cos 60 times 10. Now from your four figure table, cos 60 is going to give you um, 0 0.5 times 10. And our final answer will be phi, um, that's 5 cm. Okay, so that's the final answer. So our correct answer here, it's B. Okay, okay so question 57 says, um, which of the following statement is slash r not correct so we could have more than one that is not correct now it says all squares are rhombuses all rhombuses are kites all kites are rhombuses now first of all we need to draw our square this is our square now you know the characteristics of a square all the sides are equal all the diagonals are equal now this is our rhombus now in rhombus this diagonal it's longer than this diagonal so but the rhombus and the kites are the same so Let's now identify the ones that are correct and the ones that are not correct. So all squares are rhombuses. This is not correct. Okay? All rhombuses are kites. Correct. Okay? Then all kites are rhombuses. This is uh, correct. Okay, so it's asking us which one is not correct. So um, we have I only is the only one that is not correct. The rest, uh, so our correct answer here is going to be I. So A, so all squares are rhombuses. That's not a correct statement. It's not a valid statement. Okay, so the next question, it, um, it says find the area of the figure below. So this is a triangle and our area is half base times height. Given our base are 7 and our height are 6, this is going to be half times 7 times 6. 2 here is 1, 2 here is 3. So this will be 7 times 3 and that will give us um, 21. And do not forget your cm squared. So the correct answer it's um, E. Okay, so I'm um, going to question um, 59. It says the angle of elevation at the top of a tree, so from a certain point on the ground is 45 degrees. So this is our three. This is our three. Now this is the point on the ground. This is the angle of elevation to the tree, and it's what? 45 degrees. Now it says, how far is the bottom of the tree? If the tree is 15 meters high, how far is the bottom of the tree so x now once you have your 90 degree and you have your 45 degree and um, you have your this is 90 so you know we can apply our socatoire so and since we are looking for x which is the adjacent so we have to play with the adjacent and the opposite so that means we'll be employing our tangent so this will be tan 45 will be our opposite which is um 15 over our um, adjacent which is x therefore x times tan 45 is equal to 15 therefore x is going to be 15 divided by tan 45 okay so looking from our four figure table our tan 45 is going to be okay so tan 45 is going to be um, 15 so tan 45 from the four figure table is 1 so therefore x will be 15 cm so the correct answer it's uh, c c is the correct answer so um for the last question that's question 60 so like i said if you've not hit the subscribe button please do that now so it says in the figure below which of the following equations is not true yes we've explained alternate angles a lot here so a is equal to b let's check that the first one is it true a is equal to b yes a is equal to b the reason is alternate angles alternate angles so that one is true then it says a is equal to c yes it's true they are called opposite angles they are equal so the next one says b is equal to c b is equal to c look at it this angle here is equal to C. Yes, they are called corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Okay? 
Then the last one says B, uh, B is equal to C. Okay, this says B is equal to D. B is equal to D. B is equal to D. No, B is equal to A. B is not equal to D. So this is not true. Then let's check the last one. D plus A is equal to 180. Yes, this is angles on a straight line. This is angles on a straight line. Okay, so angles on a straight line. So the answer that is not correct here, it's B equal to D. So this is the correct answer, D. Okay, thank you very much for staying through with us through this series. Um, like I said, this is Zing Tutors. We're going to be releasing several videos that will assist you in your education. So um, you can as well hit um, the subscribe button so you can study with us. Thank you very much.